Allosaurus, Jim Madsen, and I. I knew Jim Madsen. He was a really great guy, and he was the man when it came to Allosaurus. He literally wrote the book on Allosaurus. His osteology of Allosaurus is still used today. So naming this gorgeous specimen after him is only appropriate. Uh, the big hole in the center you see with the red behind it is not the eye. It's called the antiorbital fenestra. The eye is actually in that uh, vertical area behind it. Uh, this particular animal was found at Dinosaur National Monument. It's about 7 million years older than your typical Allosaurus. And it has just one of the most amazing smiles. And you can see its teeth out and about. One of the things that makes this different than Allosaurus is when you look at it right here at this angle, um, you can see that nasal horn, the area up, up high, there's a, there's a ridge that runs across the top of it. And it actually would have been one on either side. And that differs from Allosaurus. The Allosaurus doesn't have one that runs the entire way. Uh, definitely one of the prettier skulls you'll ever see.